Hi everyone, it's Archie from Mini Direct, and today I'm showing you this outstanding BMW X1 we have for sale. This car, as you can see, is on a 63 plate. It's covered just under 75,000 miles, the high end of 74, and is just in outstanding condition and has been really well looked after, as I'll show you now. Um, it's in this lovely silver, as you can see. Um, it's just a really kind of clean, subtle colour and holds the car well nicely. And it makes these alloys really stand out, which is where we'll start. So, as you can see, these are really cool alloys. Um, I can't tell you the name of them, but uh, I can tell you they're in excellent condition. I believe the previous owner, before selling it to us, this is how much he cared about the car. He even went to the effort of having them refurbished. So he's just, the previous owner is just a credit to this car, um, as shown by the condition. So, you know, this is a 63 plate car and there's barely a mark on it. There will be a few watermarks as it, um, it's just been cleaned, but it's a bit rainy. There's a tiny little touch in here, just a little scratch. That's just a bit of dirt. The door is all nice. No dents there, no um, scuffing along here. This door again, just a bit of watermark. Sorry about that. Um, that's in really nice condition. This aloe again, that's all lovely. Same same as all the uh, wheels and tires, they're, they're like new. <laughs> um, so a little bit about the car, it is a two litre um, X drive, so that gives you the it's four wheel drive, two litre. Um, it's a diesel, it's also automatic. So, this car is it pulls really nicely, it gives you that lovely BMW feel, but you you know, you still get great miles to the gallon and practicality as well. Being the um, X1 slightly bigger, it's just a really nice all round vehicle. Um, coming down here. This often gets all scuffed. Remember, this is a 2013 car, late 2013, and it's in such good condition. The boot here, not all. That's just a bit of water again. Apologies about that. Um, down here, this often gets all scratched. Not on this vehicle. Sorry, a couple of bugs and droplets of water, but it's in really nice condition. Coming into the boot, uh, so we have, look, even the previous owner, he's he's bought a boot liner for it to stop the carpet from getting um, unprotected and it's also got a full set of mats in here as you can see, um, and under here as well, there's um, another storage bit for you there, your little toolkit in there, pump in there, parcel shelf which is kind of a cool semi loading on folding sorry and look it's even got the triangle still in there often they go missing just the originality of this car for a 63 plate is just very impressive so that's the boot obviously the roof here no dents no scratches there are a few droplets of water um so let's get those off but that's literally just water nothing to worry about but it's in such good condition. Roof bars as well. It's in this lovely gloss black, which kind of contrasts with the car really nicely. Um, they're in lovely condition. Sometimes the paint peels, but not on this one. Um, BMW badge hasn't faded, anything like that. Bumper again, that's in nice condition. It's also got the rear parking sensors which is a nice to, uh, feature to have there and there as you can see and down there this fuel door here that's nice diesel as you can see clearly it's been well looked after no diesels dripped down corroded the paint got into the plastic anything like that uh, this wheel obviously in lovely condition tire is new like new this door no marks just a bit of water and it's got this really cool line that follows the car either side and it just kind of 
it stops the car from being so square. It kind of just gives it that kind of more depth. And I think it looks really cool along with the bonnet kind of coming down to the BMW badge. It's quite a stylish looking car for what it is. Obviously there, you've got the, it's um, an X driver, as I said, four wheel drive, two litre. It's just a great all rounder vehicle. Wheels again, nice. So coming around to the front, this is often where you get all the stone chips, etc. But this car is actually in exceptional condition. A little tiny mark there. In fact, that might just be a bug. Um, there's literally one or two uh, touchings that have been done, but that's pretty impressive for the mileage and age. It just the, like, there are a couple of blemishes, which shows that it hasn't been repainted or anything but it just really shows the originality of the vehicle, like how well it's been kept. It's been really well looked after. This is a perfect example of what you want when you're buying a second-hand car. Bumper again. <clears throat> no, um, there's a little tiny chip there. But that's about it. Just a few water droplets. So that's that. So coming onto the inside, I think they're in there actually. Um, this is a really nice place to be. You've obviously got this full leather interior in excellent condition. As you know, it's 74,000 miles, 10 year old car, but look at those seats. I mean, there's no ripping, no tears. It's okay, it's a little bit worn, but really nothing for the age or mileage. It's there's kind of on this bottom bit that often gets all like damaged, but this car is pretty good. Um, and the passenger seat as well. Same story there, it's very nice. That's all good. Obviously look, the previous owners even put rubber mats in to stop the carpets getting damaged. Um, it's got this lovely wood trim that goes around it, all around the doors, around the, um, dashboard which kind of looks really nice makes it nice and professional in here you've got this radio here just turn it on for you it's got um sorry about that you can connect your phone to it for calls um and have radio and stuff like that which is a nice feature cd player as well which you don't often get in cars these days which is quite a quirky thing to see you've also got a nice storage bit up here um, it's got heated seats, heated leather seats, as you can see. Aircon, which is all working. It's got um, this hill descent thing, which is quite cool, I believe. That might just be a speed limiter, actually. <laughs> um, and you can also obviously put it in Eco Pro. So this being the diesel, um, it just gets great miles per gallon. As you can see, it's also got the automatic gearbox, which is a 8-speed, I believe. Um, and this is a really nice gearbox, it changes well. Um, it's just such a smooth car to drive. You just get in and it just goes, does all the work for you. It's a really nice um, driving experience. Um, and obviously you've got your sport and manual mode as well, which also give you these really cool flappy paddles. If you're just feeling a bit sporty, you can use those as well. Um, we've also got the multifunction steering wheel, so you can control your volume and tracks there. And you've also got cruise control down here, which you press that to go on, a little light will come up and then you can go up or down for higher speed, lower speed. Um, you've also got your lights and wipers there. And this headlining as well. It's just been so well looked after. Really nice. These back seats are in excellent condition. Sorry, there's the... Um, Sales brush there, <laughs> and even the headrests here, they've got this cool X embezzled in them, which I think is cool. Um, you've got an armrest in here with an extra cup holder and storage bit. Um, just show you around the door, kind of here. Look, no seat belts getting trapped, all the original stickers with the paint code and stuff. Often these get um, kind of worn off if 
you know, it switched hands lots, but not with this vehicle. But it's just in such original and nice condition. All this isn't worn down. These window switches are nice. No scuffing here. Speakers are good. In the back as well. Just move that that way. It's just a really nice car. Really clean. You've obviously got a 12 volt back here. It's got lots of legroom as well. So I'd say if you were looking at the mini... Oh, a wasp's just come in. That's nice. <laughs> um, if you're looking at maybe a mini countryman, this would be, you know, the next step up if you wanted to kind of stand out. It's slightly bigger as well, to be fair. Um, and it's just a lot smoother drive. Um, it's just heaps of room back here. It's a really nice place to be. The seats are nice and comfy. You've got a lot of room in the boot. These seats fold down, obviously, so you, if you need to have the extra space you can do um so let's take a look under the bonnet uh where is the switch i believe it is oh here sorry about that. there we go it's on the struts as well which is nice so look how clean this is. There's the big two litre diesel. So it's it's turbo diesel. So it's just got loads of punch. I believe it's I believe it's twin tones as well, as it says on the engine. Um I'll just start up for you so you can take a listen. As you can hear, starts up amazing. It's just had a service, as you can see, so it doesn't need anything doing to it for a while. It's got MOT till January 24. Um, and it's it drives amazingly. It's really nice to drive. As you can see, all the displays here are working. They haven't kind of faded or the pixels haven't gone, anything like that. Um, we've even got a tank of fuel, which is nice. Um, so as you can hear, the engine, ticking away lovely they're just so smooth these engines they're really nice just it finishes the car off really well it's got you know good overtaking power pulls nicely but and you get that really nice bmw feel whilst also getting amazing miles to the gallon um and like i say you know the automatic gearbox just helps make it such a smooth experience when driving this car so thank you for watching this car um probably won't be around for long it's in general it's just a lovely vehicle anyway you know nice spec it's got a great engine great gearbox in it but this particular car has been so well loved so well maintained that it just makes it that takes it to that next level um and just ticks all the boxes, I believe, uh, that you want to look for when buying a second-hand car. Um, and it obviously comes with uh, three months warranty, which you can be expended to 12 months as well. Um, and like I say, anything that needed to be done to it has been done. It's got service, MOT, full service history as well. Tires are all good, brakes are all good. So it really, you know, it should look after you, this car. Um, so thank you for watching uh we look forward to hearing from you come down have a test drive it's a really nice vehicle um see you soon bye